with Metro Manila now under the modified enhanced community quarantine and the majority of the other places in the country under the general community quarantine. We have to start preparing for the revival and reopening of tourism in the Philippines once our places are classified under the modified GCP. Yes, travel as we know it will change forever. That is why it is important that we embrace the new normal and equip our industry stakeholders with the appropriate tools and knowledge to recover and succeed in the post-lockdown era. The enforcement of travel restrictions and quarantine measures across the globe in response to the COVID-19 pandemic has immediate negative effects, not only on large-scale businesses, but more so on tourism stakeholders from the MSMEs, which compromise majority of the industry. These are travel agencies, small hotels and resorts, tour operators, tourist transport providers, tour guides, and restaurants, to name a few. With the tourism industry being hit the hardest during this crisis, the DOT crafted the Tourism Response and Recovery Program with its stakeholders first in mind. This was made in close coordination with the respective national agencies and private sector tourism stakeholders through the Tourism Congress of the Philippines. The program aims to yield the most substantive and timely measures to be implemented at the soonest possible time. The DOT is formulating policies for the new normal in the travel and tourism industry. Here are some of our policies and programs to adopt to a new normal state of economic activities. First is the regular sanitation, disinfection of accommodation, such as hotels, resorts, tourist transport activities, and tourism-related establishments, such as meetings and exhibit venues, restaurants, spas, and the like. Second, Second, the supervision of sanitation disinfecting devices, including PPEs for our tourism workers. Um, these also include provision for regular inspection of tourism establishments that will involve relevant, relevant agencies in relation to health and safety standards, such as the Department of Health. Implementation of physical distancing measures, such as requiring passengers to stay one seat apart for tourist transportation and limiting the customer capacity of accommodation and tourism related enterprises. Tourism in the Philippines has proven to be a significant pillar for the country's economic development. Um, it has contributed 12.7% of the country's gross domestic product and it has accounted for 5.4 million jobs uh, last 2018. It 